Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. We're in a time that is um, pivotal for us to sit down and kind of like take inventory, inventory of what, of things that we should have actually thrown away and things that we uh, should keep. And that means that there's things that are not conducive to our productivity energetically, mentally, physically, and spiritually anymore. And we know what those things are. A lot of times what I found is, is that we don't want to let go of familiar. Uh, and familiar doesn't mean always an outside um, individual place uh, or thing, you know, like A-E-I-O-U, the vowels. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean that. What it means is, is that we have a hard time actually looking within and seeing that the reason why things in our lives with our families, our work relationships, our children, um, mothers and fathers, the reason why they don't work is because we don't reflect on our own inner core behaviors. Those uh, core behaviors can be good depending on who we with and they can be negative depending on who we with. The negative is um, what I found to be the, the part of fortune. Let's just say that the part of fortune, because the part of fortune is where we learn that we need to change us from inner triggers. And usually they will only come through what seems to be a negative cycle situation in relationships, relationships that you work in and you keep meeting the same type of people and they could be different faces. And, you know, it could be because you left a work situation in the beginning too soon to learn what you're going to learn after two, three repeated cycles of the same type of circumstances. And you could have said, well, you know, these people just, you know, they don't respect me, they don't do this, but they could have been showing you that you don't respect yourself on the job. Or I'd say, you know, maybe um, in my um, um, understanding that you can give too much and you need to balance that out. And you will believe that the people are wrong because they are receiving from you and not uh, giving to you what your worth is, but you hadn't really told them what your worth is you went above and beyond and sometimes you just can't do that because if your lesson is to know your own self-worth that means that you've got to represent your self-worth when you go to the workplace and know that you're not going to give where you might be undervalued and see these are lessons that people don't look at so one of the things that I found so amazing in the last you know two to three weeks of May is <clears throat> you see my my symbol and it's a king and a queen and I get down with king and queen you know I'm not for that separation thing that has happened in our families for centuries and uh, even if we were separated what we could do is learn how to get along and a lot of that getting along has to do with what I just explained a little earlier even in the work relationship it's you identifying with your own triggers because a person that you call negative or I call negative is that part of fortune in our lives so we might want to study them well, in the last three to four weeks, what I found is, is that people should be looking at their own security. You know, Taurus energy has brought in um, a major, major understanding that many may not look at. And I brought up work relationships. You might look at work relationships um, negatively and not really look at the fact that you're there to work, which is major. That's a major number one reason why you're at work, right? And then if it was in your relationship, you might see that there is instability in your relationship. But who has the power to bring stability? And so there was a message in this here Taurus energy, which is probably, I won't say always the same because we're in Aquarian energy. So that means that there's been a lot of shifting into freedom. And the freedom might be that people might understand that there's an adaptable type of energy that says you can pick and choose the place how you want to be 
adaptability means that you can adjust your reality possibly and you don't have to live in what you thought to be stable but it was a compromise of stability so what 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 does that mean it means that if you were living with someone that is supposed to bring stability and you're bringing stability, which you guys meet together in that understanding. And one is not doing that because possibly they don't know that they're not stable mentally and physically. They might be stable in their work, but they may not be stable emotionally, which is going to throw um, another person off if they're emotionally stable. So, you know, in a year's time where Jim and I has been in um, its North Node, a lot of people shifted out of relationships. They may have come back and healed their relationships wherever there was problems. And they might see that their security was in themselves. A lot of people think that your security is in your home, that physical foundation, but Aquarius shows you something in depth because Aquarian energy is about the water bearer. It's about um, the pouring out of the spirit, actually. Um, it's very spiritual once it, it begins to go into the depths of itself. And um, Luke 22, I always tell the people about that. We'll tell you about where Jesus um, led the disciples and told them that um, the man with the water pitcher would be you know, available. So you can look in the first 10 chapters and read about it. But anyway, I want to reflect on the freedom that Aquarius is giving people to be themselves and feel secure about it. Now, you don't just get it just like that while I, of course, you have to work on it, but the energy is there for you to receive it. So when um, Taurus came in, Taurus started asking people, do you feel good about you know, the pleasures of life, such as the way you look, your home, do you feel secure about yourself? Because Taurus is an earth energy. And because of that, it focuses on earthy things, my money, my house, you know, myself, my family, physical things, this is Venus. And what you would have realized is possibly that you may have moved from a consciousness of um, depending on someone else and their security and shifted into the fact that you have to have your own security and stability. Now, does that mean that you are separated from that person if you were married or in a relationship? It doesn't mean that. It means that you may come into um, the fact that you're no longer codependent, but you are interdependent. And, you know, for people that actually um, broke up in relationships and they may not live in the same household with, you know, the persons that they were with, they may have found something that was wonderful, or even they might discover it in this conversation that you are a independent individual and you have survived the wind of change, winds of change, that you can make it. And where do you go from here? You find that you are actually possibly improving in your life, no matter what you have went through. Uh, attachments to people and things and places, they actually limit us. Now, I want you to just kind of like broad-mindedly think about that. Don't just kind of like target in and say, what? Yeah, they limit us. And that's not to say that I'm saying you should be in a place where you're just running from person to person. I'm saying that what if God had um, you in a place where the, your vision or your mission was in another city or state and you've been sitting waiting on someone or some people um, in another state, be, you know, get the awareness that you already have and the time and season came up. So you were pushed to move. You're pushed to move from everything that you were familiar with. Um, and what that says is that you're learning to take the limits off of your life. Uh, you're learning not to allow people to limit you and what you're supposed to do, because there's a lot of people that have lived limited lifestyles. They lived in the same city forever, but 
they had wishes to move other places. And, you know, it could be apparent to them that they have regrets that they did not follow some of their dreams. So this is what I'm saying. You, you may have felt like you lost some things last year or even in the, in the last decade, but life is here to show us that it has a better way if we can just look at all the good and be grateful. The shift is taking the limits off of yourself so that you can enjoy life and the possibilities that are there. And who are we to say that the possibilities that we've experienced are all that there is, you know? So um, Penny for your thoughts, but to look at the fact that we just came through the Taurian energy that is really speaking and announcing that you're more secure than you think, no matter what you went through, if you could just look at mm, your foundation and even where you might be going. Yeah, maybe you might be in the brunt of, you know, making changes in your life and finding a new place to live, but it's possible because the energy is what gives us um, what we need. And no, you know, some people are listening and saying, okay, you know, where's God at in this? God is the universe. God is speaking to its planets and saying, help your people, but the people have to help themselves. We got to get to a place where we understand what Jesus was really talking about because the planets and the universe is all in the Bible. So um, don't limit yourself. Look at here today, Gemini's energy is here. Gemini is a tricky energy. It's deceptive, but then it's good. It has a lower vibration on the dark end, and then it has a higher vibration on um, the light end, yin and yang. And so when you are able to look at life in the entirety and, you know, study the archetypes um, and the energies, what happens is, is you're able to ascend to higher grounds or you'll always be at the lower end which is where codependency and attachments are I need somebody in order to make it I need somebody with me in order for me to do this and do that you need you and your spiritual truth or your supreme being the god of your being the goddess of your being that's really what you need so um there will be a description in the bottom part of, you know, my YouTube. Um, I'm on Instagram at Inner Wealth Builders and also, you know, coaching offerings to get you into that mindset of creativity, to get you unhinged from the past and bring you into the new and your freedom. You know, our minds, our hearts and our souls is all that we have after centuries of um living someone else's life or a social lifestyle that really had nothing to do with what God had for us and the visions that we have to bring to pass. So um, you can always uh, connect with me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. I thank you for listening. And um, if you have something that you want to discuss, hit me up and you can come on and we'll uh, showcase you. All right. Blessings.